I see light. I see camera. Is it working? <laughs> if you stream, it will break. That that seems to be the rule of the game, from what I can tell. That's been pretty consistent so far. Uh, but yeah, I am coming back uh, after a week off, which was wonderful. Uh, just a friendly reminder, if you have not already, you might want to collect your daily comms uh, as a channel point redemption down below the chat. Uh, it's a little bit of a currency that is associated with the stream that we're going to build into some different functions. So if you are wanting to collect some, that is a great way to get them for the day. Grats plunge on getting your daily comms. Seven out of seven? Goodness. You are getting all the butts left the dumb out of you. <laughs> the butts left the dumb out of you. Yes. Thank you, Plunge. Okay. So, without further ado, Emmy! Hi, Emmy! How are you? Come on in, friend. Hi! Don't forget to collect your daily comms, Emmy. They are just waiting for you. <laughs> I've decided to <clears throat> make orchestrian rolls as a currency you can buy um, with your commendations. And so it's going to be kind of a, a fun little thing. The only one I have associated that costs a com is the Let's Party. Let's get some shit. You know? Let's party. Yes, that costs a orchestrian role to play. Um, so I'm gonna slowly be adding some more, but I think it would be fun. Well, hello, Squid Monarchy. Welcome on in. How are you, friend? It's good to see you here. We are just getting started today, getting ready to play some Final Fantasy III. My OBS is super laggy. So apologies on that. I know both of you. Okay. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Hello, Fred. I don't recognize the handle, unfortunately, but I'm sure I probably know you. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Emmy knows. Ooh, Emmy. You know secrets, huh? Um, we'll go over here to the No, don't want to be over there. We're gonna do that and let's just move captions right down there. Perfect. It's not a secret. <laughs> oh hey Melissa. We've met. Yeah, definitely have met. It's good to see you. Welcome on in. Happy Tuesday. Hope you're doing well. I was gonna say as Melissa. <laughs> Spoilers. Spoilers, I mean, I don't want to be spoiling too much, my goodness. But yeah, hope you're doing well. We are getting ready to do some cozy vibes to continue our playthrough of Final Fantasy 3. And I honestly don't remember <laughs> what we did last time we streamed, so hopefully we could figure it out. Didn't want you to steal my reveal. <laughs> Name of their bard. Um, oh, what's the name of your bard? I have your dice over there on the shelf still from our campaign. <laughs> you know Melissa Plunge. Don't you lie. Uh-oh. Did I break the game? Oh, no. Uh, backspace to disembark. So I guess there's, uh cave somewhere? A shadow cave? That has enemies in it that we haven't fought? Is it here? I think this is it. No? Yes. So this is a dungeon that we haven't done, but supposedly you need a whole party of dark knights to be able to do it. And we have one. Or drain. I think you need drain. I'm gonna try it. We'll see what happens. 
Fishbowl! <laughs> That's right, Fishbowl. That's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yes, Princess Fishbowl. That was a great name. Plunge is the one who convinced you to come. Now he's pretending not to know me. I'm abandoned and betrayed. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Well, it's good to see you, Melissa. Hope you're doing good. I spent way too much money on um, D and D this weekend. It was ridiculous. All the D and D. So, what can Frankie do? Cast break. Guess we'll break. Attack. Die. <laughs> Rude. Ron Swatson is all the Dark Knight we need. So I think they multiply if you don't kill them quickly. I think that's what it does. Group Hydrate. Thank you, Funge. Let's all get some hydration. Yeah, how have you been, Melissa? You look, it's been ages since we've last caught up. Boop, boop. Um, see, toxic. Emmy's the truly toxic one. We know that. Oh, it's literally just this tiny cave. Okay. <laughs> Y'all are ridiculous. Demon mail. Do I have that already? I do. Okay. So it must be just some more gear for another dark night. Straight up arsenic trioxide. I don't know what that is. What's arsenic trioxide? Is that a chemical formula for something I should know, Emmy? Ooh, and Ashura, is that better? Mm. A god blade named after a god of war. Ah. It's a highly dangerous and toxic substance. You know what also is a highly dangerous and toxic substance? It's probably the substance that kills the most people on the planet. It's called... Um, hydrogen dioxide? <laughs> H2O? Very toxic. Kills people. I think we were trying to get um, Odin, and I don't really think I want to get Odin. <laughs> but yes, Emmy, be sure to get your daily comms from the Channel Point Redemptions. You have 44 already? Wow. Yeah, it's in the channel points. I mean, I think it's for five channel points. There you go. You got four. All right. Plunge got seven today. I'm just getting all the comms. Eh, I'm too big. <laughs> there we go. This ship is huge. 
So I think we need to go see Ume again or Doga, whichever they one they are. They live on this weird little continent. Oh. Well, apparently this boat's too big. Um guess we could get the little baby. Or do we need to go to their cave? We might need to go to their cave. I don't remember. It's a huge boat. It's the Invincible. Alright, so it's not here. It has a... Oh, I forgot. It has a bed. So you can rest in it. You can summon the fat chocobo. So you can trade him items you don't want to be carrying around. And then it even has its own little shop right right on the boat so you can buy your stuff it's really cool i've never seen that in a final fantasy so i think we need our little baby boat though where is our baby boat it's up here somewhere here's our baby boat The two can't even compare to each other. <laughs> Look at the differences. This is the baby. This one's like a submarine airship. So it can go under the water too. Which is kind of cute. Boop, boop, boop. Somebody is confused. It's gold. A big it it has the juice. Wonderful thing. Thanks, Emmy. It's corn. A frost moth appeared, y'all. If you're looking to catch it, make sure you use exclamation poke catch. No, I don't think I want to go in there. Switch between dimensions. Okay. That's a fat chokeable. So it's not here. Maybe it's that mountain. Yeah, the Dark Knight does not hit very hard, does he? Let's change that. Ron, you did much better as a dragoon. There we go. We'll have him be dragoon. Let's go get our big boat. <laughs> It's so huge! Okay. So I can't... I don't think I can go up here. Right? No. 
So that's not where I need to go. You have to head out. No worries, Melissa. It was good to see you. You uh, hit the follow button. You can uh, catch me whenever I go live on Twitch. You're also welcome at any point, Melissa, if you want to join our Discord. Discord. <laughs> Discord. <laughs> There's a link for you. I'm hoping to be doing a D&D &D stream in the near future. So feel free to stay tuned. It's good to see you again. Thanks for visiting. That's the gold mansion. That's not it. I think this is the water temple. Yep. That's not where I need to go. Hi. Is it up in her? I feel like this was, um, the Bahumat King? Ooh, that was neat! The boat's artillery covered fire? That's kinda cool. Come on, boat! It's not gonna work. Um, down here. This is really annoying. <laughs> I have to click this. <laughs> All right, looks like we need to go up and around. Oop. There we go. There we go. Okay. I love that, that's so cool. Okay. Did I make it? Okay. Let's go rest. Cave of Shadows. Come here from Volk Abroad to further my training. Be careful of the monsters. They multiply when attacked with normal swords. Oh, that's why I needed Dark Knights. Okay. I wonder if that also means bows. Veil 4? That doesn't look like any Veil 4 I've seen before. <laughs> so those guys are good, because they have one hit kills. That causes a multiply. How about if I use break? does not cause multiply. Okay. So fire should be good. We don't need a dark knight. Okay. Oh, I want that chest. Ooh. 
Ooh. The Lamia scale. Hmm. Well, that's why. You know, that Veil 4 oddly looks a bit like the Proto Carbuncle in 14's newest raids. It's kind of an interesting look to him. I wonder if her other spell hits harder. Let me try it. Bacchus is Cider. Sir, are you alright? Thought I'd mastered the Dark Blade, I was wrong, but perhaps it was Fate the Frost Gather. Here, take this sword. Received a Kotetsu. Oh no, he died! Poor guy. I wonder why he died. That's sad. Alright, let's try your Blizzaga. See if that does any better. Oh, Shane! Grats on getting third! Good to see you, friend! Oh, looks like that command's broken, so we'll fix that. Good to see you, Shane, as always. A hellish horse. Kind of cute. It's like one of the ponies from 14. A tranquilizer. Beautiful. We love to see it. Fire. Poor Jinx Monsoon's taking a lot of damage. There you go. Boop, boop. Oh, it didn't kill it. Lame. All these monsters are green. I wonder why. It's kind of interesting. I wonder if it's an indication of their difficulty level, kind of like in Final Fantasy 1. Just an interesting choice. Alright guys, we are at the half hour mark for our stream, so I think we're going to take a quick little break. So I'm going to go refill my beverage. I suggest you all do the same. We will be back very shortly for a little more cozy Final Fantasy 3. Enjoy your break, and we'll be back very, very shortly. It's not a switch thing. It's not going to switch thing, is it? I'll switch it. There we go. All right, friends, I am back. Looks like a wild ninjask has appeared in chat. If you guys don't have that Pokemon, you may want to catch that one. Is that where I was? Yeah. That one. There we go. Boop. Click there. Okay. So. Got some treasure. Did I heal? I did heal. Let's 
Hope we get some more jobs soon. I don't know when we get new ones. Might be after this. It's gotta be soon. I know we're nearing the end game pretty quickly. Look at that XP. Siren's job's at 98? That's excellent. Hmm. That seems sus. Okay. Ooh, four of them. So that worm is called a hangel? Interesting name. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, Toasty. How are you, friend? Come on in. It's good to see you. Don't forget to uh, redeem your daily comms in the Channel Point Redemption. Got five one-page papers to write that are due tomorrow. No worries. Enjoy your work, friend. We will be here when you are needing some distractions. <laughs> no worries at all, friend. You love English class. <laughs> I don't know if I if I loved English class, but. I definitely learned a lot when I uh, did my very first English class in college. <laughs> People do not proofread their work. Very simple mistakes you'd catch and like, what are you paying attention, y'all? Definitely boosted my confidence. <laughs> Show up, write ten one page papers into as it yeah. That's a that's a pretty nice class there. So this must be the exit here. Tricky. Very tricky. Kronos? That guy's kinda cool looking. It's like a big lizard man. This is a college class! I guess they're lowering their standards, Toasty. <laughs> they're tired, those poor professors. It's interesting how they try to trick you here. You have no idea. I have I have a somewhat of an idea to stay. Oh, that didn't kill it. I work with um, Cornell folks. I hear a lot about things. <laughs> a ku kiku ichimonji. I'm guessing that's for monks? Yeah. Petrification, poison, and toad? Who can wear those, though? A dark knight. Of course. Only a dark knight. Don't have a dark knight. <laughs> Excuse me. Kaboom. Kaboom. Guess I can get that. 
captioner. Up here? It's probably the safer spot for it. Oh yeah, that guy looks like the proto um, carbuncle. It's really interesting. I think one of the highlights of playing through these older Final Fantasy games is really seeing where 14 got some of their ideas from. Because I'd never played some of these older games. Three thousand. Very nice. Got it. Do do do. Oh. More encounters. Uh, Plunge says, yeah, that's one of the reasons I like playing through a Legacy series. It's fun to see how mechanics evolve and get called back to. Absolutely. I know, like, in Final Fantasy, the, the job system has had many iterations, so it's kind of fun to see how each game interprets it. So far, this game's job system is kind of neat. It's almost trivial. It reminds me like in the first Final Fantasy, you can play it with a party of whichever class you want, and you can kind of switch them out as you'd like. Um, I feel like this game is kind of like that. There's not really a significant reason to have a particular class. So like right now, unless you're using a Dark Knight, any normal melee weapon causes these enemies to multiply if you don't kill them in one hit. But my thief and my dragoon have drain weapons, and so it just murders them instantly. <laughs> so it kind of is breaking the the challenge of the mechanics. But I kind of like, unlike in Final Fantasy 1, like the party you have is what you have for the whole game. In this game, you can kind of Switch them out here and there, whichever ones you want to have. I like that. The muscles on that monster are disturbing. He is ripped. For no reason whatsoever. Very nice. How much deeper is this dungeon? I feel like we've been going down forever. So much. Hey, our pal Red Mage Tove is here. Hello. Get you a shout out. Red Mage Tove is a fabulous Final Fantasy streamer, and y'all should be following them. If you enjoy Final Fantasy and challenge runs, Dove is the place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Toasty, I forgot, isn't Crystal Tower based off this game? Yes, uh, the Crystal Tower is in fact in this game, as is the Forbidden Land Eureka. I haven't got to that part yet, but it is in this game. Uh, I guess while we're at it, we might as well do a shout out for our friend Plunge, who is a fantastic retro streamer, doing some cool... Uh, roulettes of different things and it kind of spins and plays different games it's a really cool uh definitely give plunge a follow and i know she's probably lurking but uh, i'll also give a shout out to our mod emmy who's been doing all sorts of jrpg also another wonderful human <laughs> plunge is good and deserves nice things indeed dove i totes agree <laughs> Uh, God, I still need Eureka unlocked. 
Uh, getting it unlocked is not the challenge. <laughs> Committing to completing it, that's the challenge. I have Eureka unlocked on 14, but I've never completed Fort, uh, Eureka. I don't know if I will. Right now I'm kind of enjoying the slow uh, <laughs> ARR relic weapon grind. It's kind of fun. Slow. Did I say slow? It's it's quite slow. It takes forever. Uh, speaking of that, one more week till the Shadowbringers grind continues, so you'll be on daily very soon. Nice. Don't rush through the story if you can avoid it, Toast. I really love the story of Shadowbringers. I loved Heaven's Ward, but Shadowbringers I loved even more. Oh, those look like train tracks. Looks like there's the fang we want. Okay. Can I go just directly in the water? Uh, maybe you'll be caught up soon. Maybe is the keyword. Yeah. <laughs> Shadowbringers is a 10 out of 10. So far, no fluff at all. Yeah, Stormblood had some good stuff about it, and it also had some stuff about it. <laughs> it's not so enjoyable. It was okay. That's tricky. They're like, oh, if you go here, you'll get to the Fang, right? No. No, that's a trick. That's a trap. The final fight's atmosphere was a thousand out of ten. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely parts I really liked in Stormblood, but then there were parts that just kind of dragged on. I think for me, if it had just been the Far East, Doma, that part of the game, I think I probably would have enjoyed it, but when they started throwing in the um, what is that place called? The place Lise is from. <laughs> I was less interested. Not really tied into the story as, as nicely. Oh, wait. Oh. It was literally just go walk down. My bad. Poor Lise. Everyone loves Lise, right? Top tier character. They loved her so much, Toasty, that they made a dress that you can buy on the marketplace because everybody wants to dress up like Lise, right? <laughs> it is a pretty dress. But... Yeah, I don't know. She's not that great. Oh. I'm finally running out of fires. <laughs> Jinx has a lot of level 1 spells. There we go. More Genji armor. I probably could give him an item that would just let him spam. Let's see. Bolsters the power of fire and flame. Oh, I guess he doesn't have anything he can just <laughs> use to cast. Well, that's lame. Okay. Got the thing. The Deathclaw model is pretty cool and free. I like it. Now we need to go back over here and down here. Mm -hmm. 
I love those drain weapons, they're so cool. Alright, there's the fang. Are we gonna have a battle? Better heal up, just in case. Let's see what this does. Whoop! Random encounter! Rude. It's the Fang of Earth. Who was it that broke the seal and released me from my slumber? Something attacks the party. Hecton... Hecaton Shear? Hmm. Interesting enemy. Alright, so we want to have protect. Can I do everybody or no? Just to protect yourself. What's Scram do? Faraga? Hmm. Uh, Toasty says, I still need to finish all the Stormblood side content, but can't get sidetracked because you know, if I do, I won't get anything done for months. Yeah, <laughs> I get that vibe. There's so much content in Final Fantasy XIV. It's so ridiculous. Okay, that's pretty effective. Um, let's put another Protect on Jinx. Attack. And another Baraka. And it's dead. That drain, yo! <laughs> oh, it was a clutch weapon in two, and it's a clutch weapon in three. I love that. <laughs> GG, thanks, Plunge. I do, I love that. <laughs> Drink will burn. Alright, y'all, we got the Fang of Earth. Come on, let's go back to the manor. Doga and Une are waiting for us. Okay, now I can go back. Got it. So we're going to use teleport. Get out of there. We'll rest up and get our spells back. All aboard! Now we get to play Climb the Mountain game. <laughs> this is obnoxious. <laughs> I could do without this mechanic in the game. Why? Why? At least our artillery is providing some cover. Okay. So you go back to that, attack, attack with your bow, you attack with your bow. <laughs> why not? That's why. Uh, by the way, Toasty, if you haven't already, in the channel point redemptions, make sure you collect your daily comms. You have a chance of getting up to seven of them every time we stream. And lurking away in the stream earns you some comms. You can also get some for uh, rating or gifting subs, all sorts of interesting cool ways to collect them. My goal is to eventually turn it into a redemption system. Congrats on getting them. Um, Right now, I have a little shop that I created. I didn't know how functional it is, um, but you can buy 
some things in there right now, I think. Oh no! Dove! You got zero comps! <laughs> Y'all, give calm to Dove. Oh my gosh. So a fun little command that you can do is if you do command um, give calm, it will give a calm for free to whoever, kind of like a little hug, which is nice. Y'all, make sure you give Dove a comp. I'm so sorry, friend. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely been working on making a little shop. Right now, I think uh, orchestrian rolls or something I thought about putting in there to be able to redeem sounds. So, for example, if I want to use my Let's Party emote for command, place my Let's some shit. Pasta, uh, Let's an orchestrian roll to do it. Oh my god, the style runs small. I don't think you're gonna fit. I mean, your feet are kind of big. This is completely needless. Why? Why is this a mechanic in this game? I don't understand. Oh! A big Thanks, Toasty, for playing porn. I love that song. It's so silly. So silly. Well, it's so nice. Ah, uh, y'all, giving comms to Dove. That's sweet. I appreciate y'all for giving some comms to Dove. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, so I think we need to get our little baby ship again. Should be over here. Where is my baby ship? There's my baby ship. Okay. And then we can go back to the island. <laughs> How come you can't just jump to this one? Can you? I don't think you can. No. You have to go the long way. Smurge. Smurge. Wow, I must have leveled up pretty high. These guys are barely hitting me. Sweet. Okay. I think we might be able to go to Eureka now. Welcome back, warriors. Une and I have been busy preparing for your arrival. <laughs> Just a casual 7k. <laughs> Poor bird. Uh-oh. Where did we go? Doga's voice echoed down the hall. Make your way through the tunnel. We await you at the end. Sus. Okay. I don't like this. What's over here? Oh, there are enemies. There are dinosaurs. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Meanwhile, in 14, we pimping out 20k with an auto attack. That is true. They had to do a number squish, remember? Ooh, those are cool. Nemesis? I like those. Stare. Oh, he's confused. Now he's paralyzed. Poor Jinx. Okay, was not permanent. Good to know. Let's fight another battle. Looks like we're close to a ding for everybody. Ooh, look at his character model, the Cyclops. 
It's fun. It's like a little happy clown man. Don't remind me, poor fish or health went from 100k to 100. <laughs> yeah, it's the great number squish. They uh, learned quickly from World of Warcraft to make sure they fixed that problem. What is the shenanigans of this cave? 20,000 gil? Okay. It was funny to see on sea fishing. I have never done sea fishing in 14. I have a level 90 fisherman and I've barely done any fishing in the game. I mostly got my XP through Grand Company tournaments. <laughs> 20,000. Sweet. Okay. Giving me money. Nope, I have never done ocean fishing. Ambushed. Don't stare at me, that's rude. You're gonna take me? I know Xyle goes a lot. Xyle was big into the fishing for a bit. What are all these doors? They said go to the end of the hall. There's like 16 halls. Oh. These are just bodies. There's nothing in there. I feel like I'm getting trolled. Why is this ogre ripped? Explain, Square Enix. Why? I don't understand. And you've stoned Frankie. Rude. What do I need? Um, uh, golden needle. <laughs> Big number funny. <laughs> Shining curtain. Is that just a random item? Cast reflect. Now I'm curious. I want to know what was in that other door. You gotta know. The XP here is ridiculous. Why it's so high? <laughs> Jinx with the little baby, baby bow. <laughs> A shining curtain, a shining curtain. You guys, I think we're gonna need the reflect spell. Just a hunch. I just got like four shining curtains for some reason in this dungeon. I wonder if this game has the six strat where you cast reflect on yourself, and then if you cast magic on yourself with the reflect, it does big damage to the boss. I don't know. I know in 6 that works really well. <laughs> you made it! We're about to complete the Eureka Key, but first, you must defeat both Une and me in battle. That's right, you think you can handle us? What? Why do I have to fight you? Listen well. Long ago, mankind came into possession of weapons far too powerful for them to wield. They were sealed away in Eureka, but now they are necessary. In order to go to Eureka, you need the key. But to create this key, we need massive amounts of energy. Energy we can only produce in battle. No, Doga Une, there has to be. We can't fight you. You're our friends. Innocent fools. If you will not attack me. I will take the initiative. Prepare yourselves. Doga attacked. All right, before we enter that battle, we are going to take a quick ad break. So this is a fabulous opportunity to do some self-care. Stretch your legs, friends. Make sure you take your medications if you have forgotten today. 
<laughs> and uh, Plunge is requesting an extra long ad, y'all. So we're going to do three minutes of ads and we'll be back very shortly. All right, I am back. Hope everybody we had a productive break, was able to stretch out a little bit, do your thing. Yes, I added Hangman, which is kind of cute. We also have a little hot potato game. <laughs> you type in Tonberry uh, and you pick somebody in chat, like Toasty here. Tonberry, you're being stalked by a Tonberry. <laughs> so quick, uh, use the exclamation Tonberry command to scurry along the Tonberry to a new victim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's cute it's cute and uh i think you earn comms if you successfully push it away and lose a couple comms if it gets you <laughs> which is cute i am evil i know it is known <laughs> oh doga ain't cute what is this I don't like that. That is not a cute look. Oh no, the Tonberry shanked plunge. They lost a comp for wiping the party. Toasty gained a comp for the swift cast race combo. <laughs> Poor plunge. Alright, you're gonna attack. You friend. They're gonna Baraga, and you're gonna jump. Here, we'll we'll give Plunge a comeback. <laughs> I have that spell. Do I have that spell? No. Not yet. All right, one down. Yeah, at any point, if you want to check your comms balance, just do exclamation comms. And I'll tell you how many you have. I have a lot because I've been playing with the command. <laughs> Une, don't, we don't want to fight you. Now's not the time for chit chat. Don't worry, even if our bodies perish, our spirits can't be destroyed. Now fight me. Una looks awful too. Uh, protect, attack. Another Faraga and a jump. Ooh. Ouch. What in the world is that word? I don't know. What could it be? Loud. Ooh. Good job. <laughs> Rats on your ten comms. 
<laughs> it's fitting that you get that. <laughs> nice. Alright. Um. Let's try. Why not use a Roga? Uh, attack. Quake. Jump. One thousand nine hundred twenty-six. Pretty good. All right, we killed Une. How sad! I didn't want to. They're kind of fun characters. <laughs> But if you remember in 14, Doga and Une are the clones that give you access to the Crystal Tower. Doga! Une! Now the Eureka Key is complete! Take it with you! Receive Eureka Key. Doga, no! Don't fret, my spirit will live on no matter what state my body is in. It's up to you now. Go to Circus Tower, beyond the statues. Zande is attempting to call forth darkness into this world. He must be stopped. You must go get to Circus Tower to enter Eureka. Here, take this. It's the Circus Key. You'll need us to open the door to the tower. You are not alone. We'll continue to watch over you. Please stop Zande. Une! Receive Circus Key. Sag. Uh, you're gonna take a break from papers and make horrible financial decisions to build another Magic Commander deck? Ooh. I don't even know how I got down here. They just kind of teleported me in. Was that the exit? That must have been the exit. Okay. Uh, stop attack. All right, let's go get our big boat. I think we can use our big boat. Big boat, where are you, big boat? How come I can't just dock my boat into my boat? That would be nice. Ooh, congrats, Shane, on collecting your daily cons. You got three of seven, not bad. Ooh, Toasty, your horn level is doing great today. You're 84%. I don't think I've checked mine. What's mine today? 39. Not even close. Sag. Very Sag. Must be the magic cards. Must be. I think we can finally go through this. Do we have to walk? Kind of remind me of the statues in The NeverEnding Story. Okay. Done. A liger. That looks cute. And death needle. Those sound like punks. Stop it.
All right, all destroyed. Just like 14, they get destroyed before you enter. I know, it is very similar. I think some of the bosses are the same as well. In the tower. That are in 14. Oh, more mountain jumping. God, I hate that mechanic. Just don't cleave the raid. <laughs> I will do my best, Toasty. Ooh, that was 99.99 damage. That was cool. And we got a black hole. Oh, look at the crystal tower! That's cute. Uh, a wild Zan goose has appeared, chat. If you're interested in collecting one of those. Ancient's Maze. Oh, the Earth Crystal. Is this the real one? It's the Earth Crystal, but something attacks and you're surrounded. On Master Zande's orders, you will be swallowed by darkness. Titan. I feel like we just fought this. Um, maybe an Aroga. Attack. Wait. And jump. We did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we literally just fought this guy. He's meeting my Quake with a Quake. Oh, Quakers. You can't tell me to hydrate. Is it on cooldown? I had to institute one. The Saf was uh, spamming it. Feels like a fox thing. <laughs> seven, seven, seven. Ouch. Six, six, nine. Is a bit tougher, isn't he? Like you're winning! You're winning it like you're winning! I am winning. So if I try to cure him, I'm curious, is that going to negate with the reflect? It is! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! That's <This> bad. <laughs> oh. Okay. Alright. We'll uh, we'll use a high potion instead. <laughs> and we'll have you, Thundaga yourself, and see what that does. Now you don't want me to, to win? Oh. That didn't work. How dare you! How dare you, Toasty! In this pivotal scene. Tonberry me. Oh no. 
Corral, catch. <laughs> oh no, I spelled it wrong. There. Your turn. <laughs> uh, items, high potion, attack. Daga. <laughs> Jump. No! <laughs> no! You're killing me! We'll give it to Emmy. <laughs> Emmy, quick, uh, you better uh, type Tomberg in chat. Or you're gonna go boom. Uh, Phoenix down. And there I go. Oh no. She dead. But we lived! We survived! <laughs> well, two people got the experience. <laughs> Do we get new jobs? Look at them flat on their faces. Tisk tisk. Oh, Emmy. Emmy, you got shanked. I'm so sorry, friend. Blame Toasty. This is the fourth and final crystal, the Earth Crystal. Warriors of Light, the mortal known as Zande, is using my powers for the utmost evil. He plans to drown the world in darkness. You must use the power within me to cast away the cloud of darkness. Ooh. Received a new title. The Magus, the Devout, and Summoner jobs now available. I think they're advanced white black mages. Circus Tower is a conductor for light. Zonde plans to use it to amplify our powers and summon the Cloud of Darkness. Go now to Circus Tower to stop Zonde, Warriors of Light. Sweet. Oh, it's like Kryle. How cute. I love it. That is a cute outfit. Love it. And how about you, the Magus? Oh, the Magus is cute too. Oh my gosh. I love that. That's freaking cute. And then a summoner. I don't think I'm gonna have a summoner this playthrough. They didn't seem all that helpful, to be honest. Is there any spells that I can give them that I don't already have? Sleep? Fire? Blind? No? They have more spell slots? Oh yeah, they got heckin' more slots. That's awesome. I was gonna say, are you gonna heal me? Thank you. I have 8th level spell slots. Where do I get 8th level spells from? I want those. Like flare? Hmm. Guess we're gonna save real quick. I died, but I lived. Ha ha ha. You think that's cute? Uh, Wizards of the Coast has a whole set of cat alt arts for some magic cards. Sadly, they were like $150. So like kitty cats on the magic card art? That sounds adorable. I love that. It sounds really cool. All right. Guess we're, we're in here. Yeah, definitely DM it on, uh, on the Discord. I will check that out. A greater demon. Hmm. 
guess we'll do that. 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 Doesn't really do much, but I love her little kitty ears. They're freaking cute. I love them. We're changing. We're changing. I can't contain myself. How cute that outfit looks. I love it. Une's clone? Just a clone of the boss. <laughs> That was a terrible thing in Final Fantasy 2. You would literally just encounter bosses that you defeated as random encounters. <laughs> Look at all the treasure. What is happening in this maze? This would probably be a lot harder if I didn't have access to a map. <laughs> Bet they're all like monsters. Crystal shield. Viking, Dark Knight, Dragoon, Red Mage, Warrior, Knight. Ooh, we can put that. Um, oh! Hype just subscribed! Big hype! That's 31, Fat Kathy. <laughs> Welcome in, Kite! You're such a pal. Uh, everybody, give calm to our pal Lost My Kite for that awesome subscription. Two months in a row. That's amazing. You hate comms? Well, good. You're going to get some. You got some for subscribing. <laughs> and I just gave you another. Get all the comms. <laughs> I will smother you in them. <laughs> I don't know if I do... No, that doesn't work. I don't know how to... I think I could go in and mix it up. All right, where are you, users? Where's Kite? Lost my Kite, where are you? Kite, you have four comms, but guess what? Now you have 40. <laughs> now you have all of them. <laughs> It's true. It's true. Check your balance. Type in comms. <laughs> You'll see how many you have. <laughs> no! Yes, you have 40. <laughs> uh, there is a mod command to remove those uh, commendations, Kite. It's in the Discord. If you really want to remove them, you can. <laughs> Your internet has been crapping itself? Oh no, that's awful. I'm sorry to hear your internet's been crap. Today is the day you brew making me a mod. <laughs> uh, Dove, you've got four. Four is, is respectable, for sure. I don't know if I can give you another comm. I think it's on a cooldown every hour. Let's see. Oh, it let me give you one. I might not be restricted. <laughs> Alright, we definitely don't want to take the Bloodlands off, but let's give you a shield. There we go. Everybody's getting comms. Ooh, the Iron Claws look cool. Ooh, they're tough. I don't know if I'm going to make it through this maze. Alright. We'll see. They're giving a lot of XP, too. Look at that. Maybe I should hang out by the door and just farm for experience. You can't find the art you were talking about? Oh, that's okay.
been trying to play games with people and consistently disconnect, that would make me very sad. I would be very upset. I invested in um, a Wi-Fi uh, mesh network that seems to do the trick in keeping me consistently connected. Whereas before, I would I would have that same problem where I would just lose connection for no reason. Hated it. Made me so mad. Crystal mail. Who can use that? Uh, Dark Knight. A dragoon can wear that. Perfect. Here runs Funsen. What was that? Oh, nothing. Okay. You can wear that. Your apartment has one for the whole building and you aren't allowed to get your own. Yeah, that is probably the issue. Just contains a black musk? It's in fur babies? Okay. I will definitely be checking out fur babies. But I think it is that time again for a quick ad break. So y'all make sure you're practicing some good self-care. Stretch those legs, grab a little drinky poo, and uh, if interested, get a little snack. All are good options to practice some self-care. We love self-care in this stream. Appreciate y'all, and I'll be right back. Alright friends, I am back from my little break. Hope you didn't get any weird ads. <laughs> oh, let's have a catch up here. Uh, Toasty, I did take a peek. Those look super cute. Not gonna lie, they look super adorable. I want them. I don't think I would afford them, but I want them. Uh, Shane's here. Okay, I'm here with sound now. How's Final Fantasy 3 going? It's going really well. We just had a tragic uh, ending of some cute couple characters, but we've got these cute outfits. We got the new jobs, the devout, the magus, and they are super adorable. I love them. This looks just like kind of like Cryo a little bit to me. She's super cute. Love it, love it, love it, love it. But yeah, Final Fantasy 3 is going fantastic. We're in the Temple of the Ancients, or Labyrinth of the Ancients. Working our way to Circus Tower, which feels weird as someone who's played Final Fantasy 4 so much, or 14 so much, to be going in a different game to the same location. <laughs> So you've changed up the overlay? Yes! Yes, things are a little different. Uh, I've been playing with Mix It Up and doing some overlay things. Thank you, I'm glad you noticed it. We have some cool little options as well that are different. I'm gonna continue to add as we go. Definitely need to think about my setup because this one computer is a bit laggy. <laughs> Not gonna lie. It's old. You wanna build the cat deck? Nice. It would be very cute, Toasty. I will keep my eyes peeled. I'm going to Philadelphia next week or this weekend coming. And if uh, I happen to spot anything like that, I will let you know. I will keep an eye out. Because it's a big uh, PAX Unplugged convention. All of the gaming. Ooh, Bone Dragon. Oops. That was a mistake. That's a boss in 14. <laughs> so if I do that, I wonder if that kills it. So just steal. And we'll do fire. Got a high potion.
Wow. <laughs> Healing undead works in Final Fantasy 3. That's good to know. <laughs> She's just so heckin' adorable. I can't. Okay, goodbye, Kai. Thank you again for the subscription. I appreciate you, friend. he can heal himself. Okay. So there is a bunch of treasure this way. Phoenix down. Omnirod. Break blade. Uh, bolsters fried at level and sometimes cause gradual petrification. So the Magus can use that. Beautiful. And a knight. Don't have a knight. So I can't use that, but can equip Jinx with the Omnirod. A lot of cool treasure in this dungeon. So we'll do the ring. Actually, we'll do break. Okay. And attack. And attack. And attack. Uh, Pharrell says, I am proud of myself, got a shoutout command and a welcome command, we have to test them tomorrow. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Commands are really neat to make, I've enjoyed that. These guys are beating me up. would love to uh, check out your stream sometime, Frog, and see how you're doing with your command growth. Is there a, a bot in particular you're using for your stream? Toasty, oh god. So many cats to choose from. That sounds like a great problem to be having, honestly. <laughs> Another demon. Punch, punch, punch. Uh, you're working with Nightbot, so it's new to you, along with working on your Dio. What's Dio? I don't know what Dio is. Oops. I don't know if I've seen Dio. Alright, we'll do a whoops. Cura on the body. Steel. Fire. That's a potion. Diorama, the project I'll be posting. Oh, okay. Cool, I look forward to seeing that. That sounds like fun. That dragon.
Uh, Toasty says, the issue with Commander, you need to build your deck around the quirk. So you need to find one that fits your play style. Because you choose a card as your, quote, commander. So you need to choose what's... Oh, okay. Which specific cat you want to be your commander. Got it. Makes sense. Makes sense. Kira, Steel, Fire, and... Use this. That didn't do anything. So I wonder if she uses. Can I have a staff? Fire, Blizzard, Light. Guess not. I thought I had a specific staff that casted Cure. Okay. Can you use any weapons? Cast Arrow. Oh, you. Nope. And you can use... Pandara. They're like little baby heads. Clearly, you need to pick the fluffiest for Alcest. <laughs> yeah, and then build a 99 card deck with zero cards with the same name, so it's very specific. Sounds a lot like min maxing there, Toasty. <laughs> Are there any ethers in this game? Doesn't seem so. I've got an elixir, but not an ether. Okay. Uh -huh, token decks go burr. I think I had a green deck I used to play that just summons a bunch of little green minions all over the battlefield. It was really annoying to fight against. <laughs> I thought she had something, but I guess she doesn't. They have no idea, I just built a deck that drains life and gives me set points, then multiplies set points, then deals damage with set points. That's a lot of math, friend. Uh-oh. I bet it did cost you an arm and a leg. Oh, that's cool. Petrification kills them. Yeah, magic cards are not a uh, cheap item. 
They are very expensive. That was literally the first floor of this dungeon. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Gera. Steel. Gera. Defend. $190 for a deck? My goodness. Yeah, that is part of why magic is hard to get into for all you're correct. It is expensive. So that's what, almost two dollars a card? People sell land for 80 cents for mana? Really? That seems ridiculous. Oh, that is an interesting enemy. Okay. All right. Um, let's cast, I guess, a rogue. Attack. I don't know if this is a boss. It seems like a boss? Yeah, it probably is the wife of the Headless Horseman. <laughs> Guess it was just a random encounter. Hellish Claws. Who can use those? The Black Belt. I don't have a Black Belt. Mountains aren't cheap either. How about a Holy Lance? What's that do? Cast Holy when used in battle? I guess we could give that to Ron Swanson. Lowers his defense a lot, but that's kind of cool to be able to cast Holy. I fight one of those red dragons. Again. Okay. What's up here? Eureka? Oh, speaking of a dragon. Okay. Kira. Steel. Fire. Hold it. That's pretty cool. 3,000 damage just from an item he's holding. That's neat. Oh! All right, we made it inside. So we're gonna save to a new file, just in case. <laughs> oh, yeah, I haven't had magic cards in years. It has been years since I own magic cards. I'm sure they're still expensive as always. $200 for one land? Really? Land double lands that don't come in around. Come in tab. Oh my god, $200? <laughs> Why? What are they doing with this money? That's my question. Is there like a fair trade around? Like, let's say you want to exchange your deck to build something new and you go to your local friendly gamer neighborhood gaming store are they giving you a fair price or are they just making like a ton of money <laughs> off of your trade-in like GameStop does with games I'm curious now yeah I could see the D&D &D set being a reason to get into it 
got a few of the the D and D books, um, or the Magic: The Gathering D and D books. Depends on the story. Okay. Y'all, it's the Crystal Tower. Okay. This music seems familiar. Very familiar. What is that? She's right here. A voice emanates from the mirror. I am the door to the Forbidden Realm of Eureka, resting place of weapons deemed beyond mankind's power. An invisible wall is blocking the path. Um... The Eureka Key? Do I want to go there? Guess we're going to try it. Let's go collect some treasure first <laughs> before we go in there. The store you go to does it 10% lower than market price? He did, but he moved to Pennsylvania, so the store has a new owner. Ooh. Yeah, I know our local um, gaming shop, they do a ton of... That thing's creepy. Um, tournaments and stuff, and so you've constantly got people coming and playing games. All sorts of different games. Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, all the things. I don't know what they do for their, um, magic prices. The most expensive card in your current deck is $40, TLDR, if you hit if I hit you directly, I make 1d20 treasure tokens, which tap for any color. Ooh, that sounds broken. We also do have a, um, dice commands that roll. <laughs> and if you get a d20, I think you get comms. I think I command, or, um, wrote it so it would do that. so funny to hear Final Fantasy XIV music, but it's not, because it's from this game originally, but I know it from later. <laughs> Thanks for all. No, you did not hear a cat, you heard dice rolling. <laughs> Can you command D20? It will roll dice. Ooh. Maybe summon him. Ouch. Ooh, he's dead. Alright, let's get our phoenix down. Don't kill him. Also, do you see the name of this enemy? 
<laughs> what? What is that? <laughs> okay. That's not sus at all. No. Not not even not even at all. <laughs> hey Dove. I love your little hat. It's so cute. To be fair, you know, Red Mage is the best mage, without a doubt. Ooh, I think there's a crack in the wall, isn't there? Yes. Chocobo's Wrath, Earth and Drums. I need to use an elixir. I'm running out of magic spells. Items break attack attack attack. Rude. Very rude. How dare you? Poor Frankie. Honestly, don't know if I should be going up this tower? <laughs> Something's written there. I have the circus key. I don't know if I should be going up here? Or down through that portal? should check a guy, because I really don't know. These are all useless items. I think I'm going to take a quick break, y'all, and see which direction is the best one to take in this game. If we're supposed to go into Eureka, if we're supposed to climb the tower. We have the option of both, and I don't know why. <laughs> I'm confused. I think it said there's special weapons in Eureka. So I'm going to take a quick break, and we're going to run some ads, and we'll be back real quick with some more Final Fantasy III. Okay, I am back. So I consulted a guide. It seems like Eureka is honestly probably optional, but we're gonna do it because you get some cool items. But I think I wanna go out. I wanna look for magic before we continue because it looks like this is literally the series that ends the game. Um. I want to get some of these spells. I want them. So we're going to teleport out. We're going to go through the maze again. Oh, Toasty, you found the combo and it's toxic? Pray tell, what is it? <laughs> Ooh, a doggo kitty deck? That sounds cute. That didn't do it. It just takes you to the last inch. Oh, a king behemoth. Nice. Oh, 
Looks like he's immune to Petrify. Let's just cast a Meteor. Tracks for Crystal Tower. This is like a boss that's not a boss. He has a lot of HP. But Pandaka didn't do it. What about Paraga? And a jump. There we go. 11,000 experience. And 10,000 gil. Fantastic. Okay, so two creatures have to block. Uh, if I attack with either one, yes, this deck has two commanders. They instantly kill anything they touch, and they can't die by card effects or damage on your turn. The good news is they don't have any special effects of their own, so no one will be able to know what the deck is. Ooh, it's a sneaky deck. I did discover in Final Fantasy 3, though, that the thief doesn't really steal anything. I think the coolest item I've gotten from stealing in this game was a eye potion? Which isn't all that cool. <laughs> I definitely will go refill on stocking up the- oh, that's a mini-boss. Thundara. Uh, it's probably going to be a token farm deck or a field spam deck with low power creatures. Does Sig play Magic the Gathering? I feel like he's talked about some magic stuff. Looks like she's also immune to Petrified. It was Rio. Oh yeah, Rio's super nerd. Shoot, shoot, shoot. You're healing it. She's almost out of Kira's. We'll steal our high potion, you defend, and you use honey. <laughs> See? I stole a high potion! Woo! We gotta get Frankie a holy spell. Okay. Exit is down here. Uh, break. Cap. Attack. And they killed Frankie. We're almost out of here. Phoenix down, where are you? Here we go. 
I use a few high potions. Okay. Oh no. That was not the exit. That should give us a heal. Okay. So let's see if we can find some magic. Smurg. It's nice that our airship is not there. Okay. Never did figure out what those those are for. Is it in the ship itself? I'm gonna shoot myself if the magic is just right here. Nope, those are level 7. I wonder if we get level 8. <laughs> Take that. equipment I can get out of there. And we're stocked up on these guys. Slowly working on the diorama, added stones to it, then you'll be working on more details. Awesome. Uh, Toasty says, I can only use black and green cards because they're, those are your commander colors. Ooh. It's kind of funny that it's based on which ones you have. Is it common for decks to be more than two colors? Or is two kind of the limit there? I just wanted to check this town, in case there was anything I could use. Doesn't appear to be. <laughs> Looks like there's no magic in town either. Okay. Your dragon is white, blue, black, red, green. That is all of them. Why is it so many? That's the gold house. Oh, TM. Uh, that makes sense that it would be TM. Uh, all the chromatic colors.
I bet you it's in this town, right? No? Oh, this is the geomancy town. <laughs> Did not take the Geomancer. So where do you get... Magic. Ancient Maze. Dogus Manor and Dogus Grotto. Kill Dogan Oni. We defeated Bahamut. What level? Final Fantasy 3, level 8 magic. I wonder if it's in the dungeon? Oh, it's in Eureka. Okay, so that's not available in the overworld. It's in Eureka. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, Tiamat, she's OP, to be honest. When she enters the battlefield, you get to search for five dragons. After that, you pretty much win because of the cards. You take 21 commander damage, you lose, period. She does seven a hit. Sent me a link. All right, I will check that out later. A wild dug trio has appeared in the... Uh, stream folks if you're interested in getting one of those make sure you use exclamation point poke catch so i guess we're going into eureka seems like the logical decision <laughs> oh it was for the magic stuff okay Got it. Thank you. Appreciate that, friend. Yeah, I need, I need magic. I have these powerful magic users, and they don't have magic. It's the only thing I think I'm missing in terms of the game. There might be a few treasures here and there missing, but I haven't defeated Odin. And I don't know if I'm gonna. I just want to check this weird underwater village for the sake of just checking it. See if there's anything helpful I can get out of it. I just gotta remember where the passage is. Is it here? There's a town that's like next to a lake somewhere. I thought it was here. That's the water temple. That's the gold mansion. That's the town. There's a passage to it, I think. There it is. Oh, underwater battle. There's part of me that thinks we should farm some XP in the Labyrinth of the Ancients <laughs> to get to level 50 before we take on Circus Tower. Oops.
let me check that. Link you sent Toasty, make sure it's the same thing. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, it looks like the one I was looking at. Because <laughs> these guys, I think, sell all the rest of the magic in the game. But I don't think they sell level 8. It's level 4. There's level 7. Level 6, level 5, level 5, can I talk to you? Yes. You probably saw level 1. Oh, summon. Okay. Yes, so it must be in Eureka. Agura. Oh, I need to teach. Not run. Oops. Jinx. That spell. Do you think we should try to get Odin? I guess we can try it. He whooped my butt last time I tried, but I've definitely advanced a few levels <laughs> since we tried Odin. attack. Uh-oh. I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> Send troops. ready. I think I lost much HP there. We'll try it. There's Odin. So we're going to cast Protect. I wish I could do everybody. I don't think I can. Give it to Frankie. Attack. Raga, jump. Sounds you can. You know, that wasn't so bad. I think we've got this, this time.
We did it. Odin is done. All right, we got all the summons then. Not that I have a summoner, but... Sweet. We got Catastro. Who has them? I think Ron has them all. So he has all the summons. Sweet. I prefer him as Dragoon. But we are the Summon Masters. Oops. Right auto battle. That's okay. A Baylor. Those are a D and D monster. Destroyed. Alright, let's go get our big boat back. Should be up here. It's such a big boat. Don't know why they made it so big, but it's huge. Okay. And we do pop pop. Smurfs. Feel like you would enjoy the Blue Dragon game has RPG elements and sheeple? Sheep people? That sounds cute. Is it a tabletop game or is it a video game for Al? Alright, we're just gonna go for Eureka and we're not gonna farm XP. I think we'll be fine. Um Yes. Oh, it's a video. Okay. Don't need to collect any more treasure, we've got it all. Although I'm not gonna lie, this Labyrinth of the Ancients doesn't seem to have stairs like in 14. I'm a little offended. Where are my stairs? 
If you want to link it in the Discord, I'll check it out later for all. Video game based on anime, designed by Toriyama. Yeah, there's so many amazing games I've never even heard of. Oh, Jinx is dying. That's a waste of your magic. I've got all these high potions. What am I thinking? Conserve your energy, girl. You don't need it. Oh, it was an Xbox exclusive? Oh. I have a 360 somewhere around here. I really like the 360. I didn't have any of the other ones. That's just treasure, right? Yes. Ambushed. How dare you. Dead. It is for the 360. Yeah, definitely. There was a couple interesting um, RPGs that were released exclusively on the Xbox, surprisingly. It's not really well known for their RPGs, but there's a few. I played one that was very oddly similar to um, Persona. Oh, a raid! A raid! Boba! Boba boy! Hello! Hello! Oh my gosh! Ah! I can't get the thing! Why is the thing back up? There goes the thing! Hello, Boba! Hello, Boba and friends! Uh, my commands aren't working. Y'all, follow the Boba boy. He's just a little guy, and we love him, and he's amazing. Hold on. Come on, do the thing. Do the thing, Twitch. Do your thing. There we go, y'all. Give a follow to our pal, the Bulba Boy. Hello, new friends. Uh, Steffi Goose is here. Melody, welcome in. Uh, if y'all don't know me, I'm a factor of change. A uh, little bit of a cozy streamer here. Uh, definitely into the RPGs. Right now we're working through our playthrough of every Final Fantasy. We are up to Final Fantasy three at the moment, uh, near the end game. So we might be finishing it, maybe not tonight, but soon we'll probably be finishing this one, maybe next week. But really hyped to uh, have you all here. Uh, if y'all have been sitting for a while, this is definitely an important time to get up and stretch and refill your beverages, y'all. Remember, your body is a temple for your brain. Please, please, please take care of yourselves. Um, I hope you all enjoy your time, and if you have to raid and run, totally get it. 
welcome in bubble boy i love that your shout outs have pronouns i know i added a really cool command uh, i found it on the mix it up marketplace i was like that is per i'm back sorry i clicked the button too quick <laughs> made a command uh yeah steffi please refill your water yes we have to go to bed we'll follow love rpgs i'll appreciate you guys Thank you for uh, hanging out a little bit, though. Um, yeah, definitely happy to have y'all here. Did I miss anybody? Did I get everybody who said hello? Renata's here as well. Hey, friend. It's been a little bit since we've seen you around. Good to see you too, Renata. Welcome on in. By we, I mean melodic ghost in me. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Thank you, Melody, for the follow. Dipping in the pond. Come on in. Ah, uh, it's okay, Pharrell. I'm sure it will figure out where it needs to go in the Discord. <laughs> I'll check that after stream. Oh, follows. Thank you, friends. Appreciate y'all. Uh, if you don't know, we also have our own little channel currency called Commendations, uh, a la Final Fantasy XIV. So if you look in the Channel Points Redemption, you will see Get Your Daily Comms. So every time you come in, you have a chance of getting up to seven. And uh, every hour you also earn comms. I'm not quite sure yet what we're going to be spending that currency on. Uh, but make sure you definitely come in and get your daily comms. All right. I think we caught up with everybody. Oh, Bulba. I love that emote. That's cute. Little cat go meow meow. <laughs> yes. Thanks, y'all. Good to have you. Are you catching up? It's catching up, y'all. Oh, Pharrell, good, good job getting your comms. Let's see how many you got. Thank you for the lark, Bulba. Take care of yourself. Appreciate you sharing your community with me. Hi, Pharrell, no get calm. I think it's just lagging. Give it a second. It's going. You got five. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I think it's two M's for Al. Two M's and you'll, you'll see your comms balance. But yes, also the raid, Bulba earned uh, comms for that as well. I believe I also set a command so every, every sub that gets gifted gets you seven comms as well. So they are coming in hot. Coming in hot. All right, let's get back to our game. We're fighting this lady uh, headless horseman thing, the Thanatos. She is buff. We didn't fight another king behemoth. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I've got some weight commands in there, Pharrell, so it looks like it takes a little time to catch itself up. Especially if there's a overlay element, so they don't all intersect, which would be really annoying. <laughs> oh, I forgot to save. Please hold. In typical Final Fantasy fashion, it is very important to save your game constantly. I have now eight files. So I guess down here is where we're going to find the shop with all the magic. God, that music. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, no. Takes me to Final Fantasy XIV. Ooh, look how ripped these little dino guys are. Okay. Ooh, they're tough. They can get stunned, though. That's good. We can stone them to death. 
A bomb arm, heavenly wrath. Are these just items? Yeah. Okay. Zara. Okay. Hookahs. Why are all these enemies ripped? I don't understand. <laughs> What's with the six pack? I don't get it. That's a very interesting thing. So Dare was, uh, right, being stoned with kill- yes! Uh, three stones, in fact, will, uh, murder you dead for all. Ooh, an elixir. Maybe I've got, like, 16 of those. We're gonna need those for the final days. That one's like a little pony. It's cute. Margaret Krona wants to offer promotion of your channel. Viewers, followers, views, chat bots, the price is lower than any other competitor. The quality guaranteed to be the best auto on. Incredibly flexible and convenient. Order management panel. Everything in your hands. Turn it on or turn it off. Oh my goodness. That's an interesting offer. But I'm going to Probably not take you up on Margaret Kona. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, Doge hype, more like effector hype. I did get spam scam. I don't know what that was. That was weird. Yeah, I've noticed um, on Twitch there are a lot of robots that just kind of stalk on your page for some reason. It's very odd. Oh, there's choices. Um, let's go left first. Ooh, back attack. Those aren't good. Well, I guess the Dragoon doesn't matter because he's going to jump. Oh. Please don't kill my white mage. Let her live. Don't kill her. Okay. Phew! That was scary. Okay. Alright. So, what's behind door number one? We've got... Treasure. Another bomb arm. Okay. These are supposed to be like legendary legendary treasures? So far I'm just getting random items. Y'all, it's your boy Dark Meow. Hey Dark Meow. Let's make sure we give Dark Meow a con. If I can type correctly. Here's a free con for you Dark Meow. Oh, Dark Mail left. User could not be found. Did you leave already? Oh my goodness. It's probably not going to let me do it because I just clicked it. Monsters. A ninja. You were found! Yay! This ninja is strong. Very strong. He's immune to paralyze as well. He's dead. 
Look at that XP. We'd love to see it. Ooh, a ribbon! Yay! That's a really awesome item. Protects you from all the status effects. Me, Abba, in door number three. <laughs> nice, Pharrell. Uh, Darkmail says, I have a cute new sweater and you have nobody to show. You could show us if you want in the Discord. I think you're already in my Discord, aren't you, Darkmail? I can't remember. But you are welcome to share it there. That... <laughs> Uh, dude was stuck in a box. Of course he's strong. I guess. The pent-up frustration and rage. Being stuck in there. Uh, hold on. I want to put this ribbon. Oh, where's the ribbon go? It's a helmet. Prevents any kind of status ailments. And look at how much defense it gives her. Sweet. That's a great find. All right, what's down here? Ponies. <laughs> a wild skidoo has appeared in chat, friends. Shuriken. I don't think I have anybody who can use that. It's a ninja's projectile weapon. Dark Meow, we are actually in Eureka. Look at that. See, I've I've progged Eureka. Look at me go. I'm progging it right now. <laughs> There's gotta be some bunnies down here somewhere. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Did you post that sweater picture? I'm gonna go look. Let us go see. My Discord's being super laggy. Oh, nope. I uh, see Pharrell is sharing the discs of Blue Dragon, the game. But I don't see a sweater. Oh, okay. Heavenly Wrath with Phoenix down, but you can't hold anymore. Arctic Wind. I have too many Phoenix downs. I'm just so good at the game. I can't carry anymore. Supposedly there's a magic shop around, but I'm not seeing one. More unnecessary abs. Why? Why are there so many abs? At least the pony doesn't have abs, it just has weird extra limbs. Am I jelly? No, I am not jelly. I'm just concerned. <laughs> I don't understand it. Rude. I can put... Do I have a weapon that I can put on you? Oh, you have two. We'll put two of those on him. 
And he's got the Holy Lance. There's not really many choices there. Okay. Just looking for secret passages. Supposedly there are passages where he can get magic. Ninety-nine, ninety-nine. Max damage. Just hoping there was a. Uh... Oh, can't hold any more Phoenix Downs. Was hoping there was a um, a knife that also has that effect of petrifying. Oh, I don't know there's not. There's some kind of teleporter? Ambushed. Rude. Blade, Force of Darkness, show your worth. Oh! Oh, that's Amon! I remember him! He has the best hat in Final Fantasy XIV. You protect. You attack. You. I shield Faraga. Ninja. Ooh, he's a lot harder. Um, protect on Jinx. Tap. And Baraka. Pretty sure that's a skeleton, not a Jamaican stereotype. Yeah, he he is a skeleton. He's a boss in 14. He's also um, the secondary version. There was a guy earlier in the game that's just like him. So he has different um, spells that he switches to. Barrier shift. Change weakness. Hopefully it's not fire. Yep, he absorbs fire. I'm guessing if he absorbs fire, he would be weak to Blizzaga? Vulnerable to ice? Yes. Oh, you posted it. Alright, Dark Mail, I'm gonna go peek. 
Oh, I love it. That is cute. That is super cute, Dark Mia. <laughs> Aww. I missed what he just did. It looks like he just casted Protect on himself. Let's put Kira there. Cat. Oops. Dezaga. Oh, shoot. Change weakness. It's gonna heal him. I know it. Yep. Earth damage should be safe. Vulnerable to lightning. I wonder if he's going to absorb that. Ooh. Okay. Cure yourself. Attack. And I go. Oh, a barrier shift. You jerk. I'm gonna absorb the lightning. Yep. So we'll use Earthquake. Vulnerable to fire. Well, he's vulnerable to earthquakes, too. <laughs> he doesn't want to- that's true, he does not want to re-die. And he's dead. da 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 Yay! Got a moon ring played. Can be used by the night or dark night. Oh, I can't use it. Sag. Oh. Another item. I think that's the Masamune. Archeron. Uh. Golem. Attack. Attack. Looks like he's immune to Petrify. But he's dead. Ah, oh, rude. Oh my gosh, the Masamune. Cute. Cute. I love it. Let's raise. Instant knockout? That's not gonna work.
Ooh. That was a knockout. Guess we need those Phoenix Tails. <laughs> oh my gosh. She is a deadly ninja. Protect yourself, girl. That wasn't bad. Who's blind? Hold up. Ron Swanson's blinded. Alright, we got the Matsumune! Fantastic. Yeah, I don't know if I have anyone who can use it though. <laughs> I think it's the most powerful sword in the game. Dark Knight. We might need to switch someone to a Dark Knight. Word. It's the word, it's the word. Ridiculous abs. So many ridiculous abs. Lightning is different than thunder, isn't it? Kinda neat. I guess I should go for that sword, huh? Oceanus? It's a big old snake is snake. Goodbye, snake is snake.
Excalibur. I'm guessing this is a warrior's item. All right, we'll do protect, attack, dog, jump. Okay. Naga doesn't really do it. Drain. It's not too bad. Let's do Libra. Tap. Raga? No weaknesses. Okay. 666, rude. Very rude, sir. Is that half my HP? Sure looked at it. I can do that too. <laughs> so he hits me with bio after I hit him with bio. Rude! I mean, red guy, possible horns. Yeah, that damage adds up. Yeah. Well, I think of Excalibur as being like a holy weapon. I'm surprised it's so dark. I have to use some of those elixirs in here. <laughs> this guy's tough. Oh, he's dead. Thank goodness. Gown. Tame the Excalibur. I think Excalibur was in the second Final Fantasy too. So it has to go to a knight. Okay. Punch, punch. More horses. That was rude. It did one damage. Not nice, Mr. Horsey.
I'm gonna put a different weapon on you. like a staff. The Elder Staff. I will grant you the titles of Ninja and Sage. Ooh. Endgame prep? Yeah, we're... we're this is Scylla. She's in Final Fantasy XIV too. Yeah, this is... Uh, we are in the endgame. We have to get up the Circus Tower, the Crystal Tower, and then the World of Darkness, and then we're done. So right now we're in Eureka getting all these magic weapons, and then we will head up there. Protect. Okay, yeah. Um, guess Frog and jump. Ouch. Blair. Eek. I believe the sage is probably the best job that you can get in this game. That spell. Flare. I would like that spell, please. there for a second. Ouch. Such a jam. I love it. All right, Scylla is down. Means we get two new jobs. Titles, Ninja and Sage, Masters in the Arts of Weaponry and Magic. I wonder what those look like. Okay. Ninja Any. Ooh. So let's look at my spells. So we've got... 17, 15, 10, 9. So if I change Frankie to a Sage... Hmm. 
not as many spells. But does her equip get better? Cast Cure in battle. I feel like she had more spells as the White Mage. She probably has some kind of cool ability. And if I change you to the ninja, you can have the Masamune and Excalibur. Absorbing. Yes, I got Sage and Ninja. But I want my Orc Kelpin back. Where is that? Alright, let's go items, swoops, sort, weapon. Supposedly he can wear anything. Oh. Wind spear. Max infuser lightning. Cast protect. Confused. Blood sword. There it is. Or a calcum. So Saren has been upgraded to a ninja. We'll try Frankie as a sage. I don't know if I'm gonna like her as a sage. He looks like a Catholic priest. We'll try a battle. I only have two of those. She will beat the Holy Spirit into you, indeed. That staff is cool though, just cast Cure for free. keep her <laughs> for now is devout okay want break back okay gonna use an elixir Get her spells back. Look at that shiny sword. I am Ragnarok the Unparalleled. You cannot hope to handle my power. Sus. Let's do a Libra. Weaknesses. No weaknesses. Okay. So we'll cast Protect on you. Okay. Yeah. 
It's a JoJo standard. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I'm assuming you're referencing. Attack's not really doing anything, is it? Potion, cast protect. All right, Ragnarok is defeated. Is that just a sword? with the power of darkness. So night, dark night, or ninja. <laughs> hmm. We'll try it without the drain, see how it does. Alright, there, that looks like magic shops. Another shuriken, an elixir, an elixir, shuriken. Odin, Leviathan. Oh, you can get the summons from a shop. That's cool. Tornado. Yes, 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 yes. Love it. Look at all them spells. Oops. Let's give the wrong character. <laughs> Although, I wonder what these guys are just kind of like doing. Hanging out at the bottom of this very scary place. Oh. Those are expensive. How many people want them though? Alright, I think that's it for Eureka. So we're going to teleport out, we're going to save our game, I think we're going to get ready to find someone to raid, y'all. So we'll save and get another save file, 
number nine. Switch to our just chatting screen. Let me get out of this game. Okay. Quick game. Yes. Okay. So as always, if y'all are interested in keeping up with any of my content or following up with me, check out my socials. We also have a cozy Discord community you're welcome to pop into. And let's pop on over to Twitch. Let's see who's on for us to rate tonight. This music is chill. Come on, Twitch. I believe in you. I wonder if Sky is still on. Let's see. Show more. Loverish is on as always. Could visit Loverish. Do, do, do. Okay. So looks like Sky is not on anymore, which is okay. Faux Retro is on, continuing Xenoblade Chronicles. That might be a fun thing to check into. B's on. Y'all, let's go check out Eyes on B. Eyes on B is the uh, organizer of the stream team, the Treppies. They are really cool most of the folks i've met there are really nice wholesome cozy folks i enjoy their company so i think we're gonna go visit b she is really obsessed lately with tactics ogre reborn so if you would like to copy the raid message and follow along with us i'll print it right there the general message for the community is got the hearts there and if you happen to be a subscriber you can use that uh, second message there on the bottom. So let me trigger our raid for eyes on. Ooh, let's make sure you spell it correctly. Eyes on B. Beautiful. It is running. Okay. Yes. Thank you all for joining me. Let's switch over to rolling our credit screen. See if this thing works. I don't know. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. It's going. All right. So we got our mods. Emmy lost my kite and a bot. Subscribers. Emmy lost my kite. Plunge and Shane. Kite resubscribed for two months. We had Bulba Boy come in as a raid. Thank you all, everyone, for joining us for our stream. We'll be back tomorrow evening at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, continuing Littlewood in our cozy gaming evening. So I hope to see you guys tomorrow. And until then, have a great night and stay cozy. Bye, y'all.